So today we're going to have a quick tutorial on how to use a digital scale. Now, you're probably like, come on, there's two buttons. Do we really need a tutorial on that? Well, if you're anything like me, you might. So I'm sure this is easy. Put that on there, turn it on, and you have zero? That can't be right. Maybe this button does something. G, L, B, L, B, O, Z, K, G, O, Z. What do these all mean? M, L? Maybe I have to take this back off. That was negative? Negative weight or something? This thing's supposed to be floating? This is crazy. This thing must be broken. Ah! Ow! Okay, so maybe some basic instructions would be helpful. Um, as you can see, I have two different varieties of the digital scale here. I've got the Flynn Scientific Economy Balance, which is plug-in, and I've got a battery-powered Ozeri Balance, which I bought on Amazon for about 10 bucks. So what does this instrument actually do? Well, it's used to measure weight or mass. Now, you may have heard that mass is typically measured with the triple beam balance, and that is correct. But as long as you're planning to stay on planet Earth, the digital scale is a reasonably accurate way to measure mass as well as weight. Now the first thing that you need to do when using the scale is make sure that it is on a flat and level surface. The second thing, and this is really important, make sure that you turn the scale on before putting anything on it. So now that you've turned on the digital scale, make sure it's reading zero. If for some reason it's not, go ahead and turn it off and turn it back on. Next you need to select the units you're going to use. If you're measuring weight, then you'll use ounces, pounds, or pounds and ounces. If you're measuring mass, you'll use kilograms or grams. What about all those other units? Well, if you don't know what they are, just don't worry about them. All right, so let's give it a try. Suppose I wanted to find the mass of this rock. Do you remember which setting I would need? That's right, I'm gonna need either grams or kilograms. I'm using grams. The mass of this rock is 144 grams. But suppose I wanted to find the weight of this rock. Well, then I would need to select either pounds, pounds and ounces, or just ounces. I'm gonna go with just ounces. The weight of this rock is 5.08 ounces. Now, what will you do if you're asked to find the mass or the weight of a liquid? Well, that's easy. Okay, so maybe there's a better way. So really, everybody knows if you're gonna find the mass or the weight of a liquid, you're gonna have to use a container. But that creates a small problem because you're not just finding the mass or the weight of the liquid, but the liquid plus the container. The easy workaround, first, you put an empty container and you find its mass or weight. Write that number down. Then add the liquid, find the total mass or weight, and then you just have to do a little more math and subtract out the weight of the empty container. Let's say I'm finding the mass in grams, 108 grams of container. Three hundred and forty six grams total. Just subtract the mass of the container and you have the mass of the liquid only. Now both of these digital scales have a cool feature that will save you from having to do this extra math. If you put a container on the Flynn Scientific digital scale and hit the zero button, it essentially removes the weight or the mass of the container. Over here on my Ozeri version, I hit the tear button, which does the same thing. It takes out the mass of the item that is currently on the digital scale so that when I add my liquid, I only 
get the mass of the liquid itself. Finally, it's worth mentioning that these digital scales are only rated for certain weights or masses. Something that's super light may not even register. And something that's super heavy will certainly destroy it. So, you may want to check the instruction manual or the back of the digital scale to see what the rating is for that particular instrument. I always wanted to know how much my truck weighed. Well, that's it. Welcome to the Pro Club. Get out there and give a digital scale a try. Have a great day and always remember, stay curious, my friend. Thank you.